Hi, this is Jonathan. How are you guys doing? Today, I'm going to feature a very special guitar, which is very special to my heart. This is the Valley Art Steve Lukather Artist Model 1985. <laughs>
thank my friend Jay Su uh, for letting me have this uh, beautiful, wonderful privilege of playing this guitar. Now, this is something that I dreamt of when I was in my thir- in my 20s, in my mid-20s, because uh, when I started playing the bands, and I have been a fan of Steve Lukather for the longest time, since I was like 17 years old, 18 years old, and I always wanted to get one of these, but that was like way past my pay rate, you know, back then. I couldn't have enough money for that at that time. In any case, I I remember one of us actually did procure this, and it was Jay. And the, the fact of the matter is that he uh, studied in, um, I believe, in MI, if I'm not mistaken, back in the 80s. And uh, he procured one of these from Mike McGuire, the guy who actually built this for Steve Lukather. Um, it's a little bit different uh, because through the years, this like we're talking about almost 40 years, uh, it's gone uh, quite a number of changes because wear and tear and everything. In any case, uh, the basic um, appointments are still there. Basically, this is a swamp ash body with a fireburst finish. Really nice, very iconic back in the 80s. Right? And then you have a bird's eyes maple neck with an ebony fretboard. Jumbo frets, not too sure about the fret radius. It could be about 10 or 11. And then you have the flight rate system, all in gold. Now this is a new flight rate system which is installed because the old one just kind of gave way. Um, yeah, which is pretty common for guys who use a flight rate system, like myself, back in the days. And then you have, um, these are radius uh, tuners. Now the original tuners were Goto, uh, but these are the ones that he swapped out. You, know. you have the logo, the Value Arts logo, right here. Yeah. On the back, you have this back plate where his name, Jay, is being uh, engraved in, which is so cool, right, and the Value Arts logo, right, a black plastic back plate. Now, the battery compartment, is, I think, is inside right here, you know, uh, or right here, I don't know, I'm not too sure, I, I, I dare not take it out, you know, because this is like, yeah, I respect this guitar a whole lot. So the 9 volt battery is for the EMG pickups here. So these EMG pickups are the SA, SA, and 85 on the bridge. You only have one volume control and that's it. You know, so iconic back then because he's like, whoa, you know, Ben Halen was doing that, you know, uh, with his Monster X, you know, his Frankenstein X. So yeah, Steve Lukather, I think he kind of followed this without any uh, tone control. Five-way pickup selector switch. Right, the flight rule system right here, and the black pig guard. Okay. Nice. Cool. All right, so you have all the uh, Go hardware. You, know. you can see that you have uh, little, little uh, cracks in the finish, which is like, really nice, you know, because this, this guitar is almost like 40 years old. It's been through a whole lot. Yeah, I love it. I, I, just, I just love playing on it because it just um, f- f- kind of filled a void in my heart uh, all this time because I've been dying to play on one of these. It just plays really well. This is like a Slim C uh, neck profile, really easy to play. 
you know. And I, I believe uh, Steve Lucas doesn't have like you know real big hands. So uh, what I noticed on his Luke, I have I actually own two Lukes, uh, the Ernie Ball Music Man, and they're pretty you know pretty uh, thin, you know the, the the neck profile. The nut width is one eleven sixteen inch, and uh, this is like I think this is just slightly almost the same as the one on the Luke. Yeah, nice. We got right on the right on the. Uh, the top is easy to access, and this is a 22 fret model. They have a 24 fret model at that time, but this is the 22 frets. Now, this, the, the SA and the 85 are like really iconic back in the 80s, and they sound great. Now, these pickups are like you know uh, raised quite high, yeah. So you, you know, you get that, you know, that, that big sound, you know, the on the 85s. And if you notice, there's no recess over here. Uh, the later uh, guitars that has front rows, they all have a recess so you don't have to have such a big uh, gap right here in between. Can you see that gap here? Yeah, so nowadays you have the recess there uh, with the James Tyler, with the Ernie Balls, uh, Music Man, any guitars that have a front rows, you know, they have a recess so it doesn't like protrude so high. But you can see the bars are really high. <laughs> it's cool, you know, I'm, I'm used to this. Nice. Love playing on this, and I, I was actually using a, a, a new um, slide on one part of the song. This is, and this is the rock slide from Sunhurst Guitars. Yeah, this is the container, really cute. It's like in a built bottle. But anyway, this is a really nice slide. It has the cutaway here, so that you know you can have easy access. You can kind of bend a little bit. So it's more comfortable. Yeah, this is smaller. I think I think this is meant for the pinky. Yeah, but I'm I'm so used to playing with my third finger, so it's nice, nice tone, nice warm tone. Yeah, let me know what do you think about this guitar and what sort of memories it evokes in you. Uh, leave your comments in your comment section down below. And if any one of you own this guitar, let me know. Uh, I want to like know your experience. You know how long a time have you spent with it? It's kind of hard to find this guitar these days, you know, even on eBay or anywhere else. So beautiful, All right? Again, I want to thank Jay, uh, Jay Sue, for passing me this guitar. Thank you, Jay. So this is like uh, uh, a realization of uh, of a desire in me to try all these guitars that were too expensive for me back then, and some of them are still too expensive for me right now. You know, so for the last couple of months, I've had the the the, the pleasure and the blessing to to play uh, the James Tyler guitar, the Tom Andersons. You know the sirs and and this you know so it's like a a completion of of the 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 desire in me to, to play all these beautiful guitars that i never had when i was younger yeah and i thank god for that all right if you like this video give me a thumbs up subscribe to this channel press the bell for notification of future videos to follow be part of the patrons to support this channel i would appreciate it i thank all my patrons for the wonderful love the wonderful friendship and most of all the wonderful support thank you so much guys so in the meantime, take care of yourself, um, and I'll see you real soon. Arrivederci.